Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Several new Season 5 helmets have been leaked. Amongst those are the Halo TV show helmets, but not only that, a new map has also been leaked, which has an interesting twist to it. With that being said, let's get right into it. Now I do want to give a quick shout out to Delta Index and the Silex Guide, as I was able to find all this information through them, so shout out to them. Now let's start off with the helmet, the first one being Bunyip. I believe is how you say it, I don't know, quite a funny name. I'm sure things are subject to change, so you never know uh, if names and stuff might change. But yeah, we got this helmet, which looks a lot like CQB, or if anything, it actually kind of looks like the one from Halo 4, uh, the football helmet. It's kind of like a mix between those two, but uh, definitely an interesting looking helmet. So this helmet also comes with an attachment, um, it's kind of like a laser sight kind of thing. Anyways, moving on to the next helmet, we got the Kamazot, which I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, this is another new helmet here. Um, not much I can say about this one, but it does have a hilarious attachment, a helmet attachment to it, which basically gives it wings. It kind of looks like a dragon in a sense, or like a bat. Maybe it could be like a Halloween themed helmet. Now that I'm starting to look at it, it's maybe like a bat themed helmet. I don't know, but uh, it's definitely unique. Moving on to the next helmet, we got Scorn, which is actually a helmet that's going to be a part of the combined arms operation this one doesn't seem to have any helmet attachments currently but yeah this will be the helmet of that operation on to the next one we got sky marcher which once again i can't say much about it other than it's like one of those open visor helmet it does have a helmet attachment which i don't even know what to say but this is how it looks definitely interesting not sure what to say about that but that is the sky marcher helmet moving on to the next one we got squire which does kind of look like the spy default helmet in a sense but uh, yeah, this one also has an attachment. Pretty much just kind of covers up the visor. That is the uh, Squire helmet for you. Moving on to the next one, we got Winter Knight, which is the Santa looking helmet that's going to be a part of the Winter Contingency 3 operation. And yeah, this one looks funny because it does look a lot like Santa. It looks like he's got a beard, fits really well. I think they, they managed to make it look like it actually fits into the Halo universe. It's just really well made. That's all I got to say, really. Now let's get into the Halo TV show helmets. So we are getting all the Halo TV show helmets other than of course the chief helmet because technically that kind of is already in the game right so let's start off with the kai or k125 helmet and yeah this is one of the tv show helmets i think it looks really good it looks like the scout helmet moving on to the next tv show helmet we got the riz 028 if i remember correctly this is the person that uses the sniper rifle in the tv show it does seem a bit identical to the other helmet the kai 125 helmet uh but a little like more narrow like the visor seems a little more narrow if that makes any sense but uh yeah it's another good looking helmet on to the next TV show helmet, we got Vanic 134, which is the EOD look-alike helmet. Um, this one actually does come with an attachment, which gives it like those fins or those air vents, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. But yeah, another good helmet that's coming to uh, Infinite. I do wish we did get like some kind of like operation or event that had to do with the TV show, but you know, at least we're getting the helmet, so that's nice. Now let's take a look at the new map, which is called Illusion. There's no release date for this that has been leaked or anything like that. It could come season six. It does look like some kind of facility similar to recharge it's got like that same aesthetic i would say but what's really interesting about this map is that there's areas that enable active camouflage when you go in there so literally if anyone enters those specific rooms active camouflage will be applied to all those spartans and based on the picture you can actually see the doorways that have the little blue lights is those areas that will automatically apply camouflage once you enter those areas which is definitely an interesting and unique twist you know i love seeing like environmental stuff like this when it comes to maps just like in prism where you have the blamite crystals that you can shoot um, you know, I love seeing stuff like this, and I hope we just continue to get more stuff like that. Anyways, those are the new helmets that have been leaked, as well as a new map. Let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. Now, see you guys on the next one. Peace.